Tonight on Live from the Theater Basement, Leticia Arbello's award-winning 10-minute play, Therapeutic. A mother isn't thrilled with her daughter's plans to become a therapeutic escort. Can she be convinced to support her? Therapeutic, tonight on Live from the Theater Basement. Art Walk. Galleries and artists in downtown Flagstaff let it all shine. Art Walk is first Friday every month. This month, Theatricos is a special free performance. Come join the fun in downtown Flagstaff and see a special show at the theater. First Friday Art Walk, downtown Flagstaff. I'm your host, Bailey Cunningham. Tonight's 10-minute play, Therapeutic by Leticia Arbello, is directed by Sam Piper and features Anne Werbach and Tiana Cox. Therapeutic, tonight on Live from the Theater Basement. Therapeutic by Leticia Arbello. Karina and Julie, mother and daughter, are in a one-room apartment. The kitchen is separated by a small curtain. They are sitting in front of a table that is full of small things. Julie is wearing a towel robe and reading on her cell phone. Karina is in homely clothes. She is listening to Julie, drinking a glass of sheep champagne and doing her pedicure. I'm a sweet and daring young girl. Naughty girl. An executive escort in every way. It's V-P-I-V. V-I-P, v -I -P, you ignorant. Whatever. The order of factors doesn't alter the product. <laughs> okay, go on. What else? I'm a therapeutic escort. A sensual massage expert. Therapeutic escort. You've got some cheek. I take credit cards, some foreign currencies, and Argentine pesos at the exchange rate of the day. Good. My eroticism has no other limit but your pleasure. Daddy. What? And <laughs> Daddy. My eroticism has no other limits but your pleasure, Daddy. <laughs> no way. It takes on all the poetry. Guys don't give a damn about poetry. <laughs> You're an old fossil, Mom. Come on, add something hotter. If not, they're not going to call you. Turn them on, baby. <laughs> Shut up and listen. Come and meet me in my place. The one in the photos. You're going to have an awesome time. Don't lie. This apartment is not the one in the photos. And for the record, it's not yours. It's mine. When you die, it's going to be mine. <laughs> You're a demon. Well, that's the truth. Why don't you serve your customers in Alberto's apartment? It has several rooms, and you could work there just like the local girls. It's right outside San Pedrito Station. A-line subway. The old man charges only a small commission. He's a good guy. No, that's history. What? That idea is absolutely out. What do you mean? What's in now is serving in a private apartment. Okay, then rent it. And how do I get the cash? What about your wages? Don't you work enough and earn enough at the bank? Yeah, I do. Can't complain, actually. Then why do you want to do this? For fun. Can't I fuck for pleasure? Is it wrong? And I get some dough for my vacations. I love to travel. Don't you? I'd love to. Besides, now women want to get satisfaction, not only give it to men. Pleasure is there, inside you. Okay then, rent an apartment for pleasure with some friends and work there, not here. Listen, I always have cannabis, and I like to share it. No way, no joint smoking here. I think we may have a better, more relaxed experience, and I can give you some good massage with essential oils on your back, and then wherever you like. <laughs> oh, I don't know, it'll stain the sheets. No, forget it. Sheets are very expensive. <laughs> As soon as you get here, a candlelit path leads you to lust and pleasure 
Candles? Do you want to burn down the house? No way, baby. No clients here. You can bring your mates from college here to do those group projects, but if you want, but don't give me any weird stuff. You have to change, Mom. Don't bug me about it. You're a vintage whore, Mom. <laughs> Look at you, chugging cheap champagne that looks like Sprite. Why don't you drink some sugar beet and plum juice? Because I'd shit on myself? <laughs> Much better. That way you'd let it out. Total detox. <laughs> Look, I don't want you to work here, Juliana. It's safer to work at Alberto's. Me and this house are going to be in peace that way. Me and this house are going to be in peace that way. <laughs> when I was your age, I was already working for Alberto. I felt really, really good. He used to choose my clients. All of them had to be very clean. <laughs> Not quite. Dad was filthy. Well, yes, except for your father. <laughs> the rest were quite clean. Remember the nails box? What? Dad's nails box? Oh, yes. For years, I thought it was his mother's ashes. But it was his toenail pieces. <laughs> Which he clipped with his teeth. <laughs> and he kept them in the box. Anyway, each to his own. He also rubbed his ears with cotton swabs, and he collected them, too. He stopped doing that when you were a baby because you wanted to put the swabs in your mouth. Oh, how disgusting. He couldn't go to work without rubbing his ears with a Q-tip. He'd dip it in alcohol, or even vodka when we'd run out of alcohol, and said, oh, what a pleasure, now I can go. Whew. Then he left the swab on the table and went out. Quite a character. And you married that freak. Hey, that freak was your father. And actually, we didn't get married. He was a bit unpleasant, but he made me feel like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. <laughs> Why do you think your name is Juliana? But she is Julia Roberts, not Juliana. Well, I had to negotiate with your father. The name Julia reminded him of Maria Julia Sagara, and he didn't like her. <laughs> but he treated me like a queen. The only complaint I have is that he didn't take me to Los Angeles. I wanted to go to the hotel where Pretty Woman was filmed. Not to stay for the night, only to have a coffee there. Mom, it's you who has to make your dreams come true. I met him and I stopped working. Too bad. We were so much in love from the very beginning. I heard that a hundred times. That when Alberto would say, Kari Maro's here. I got butterflies in my stomach and rushed to make his special mate and got ready to listen to his truck stories and his road adventures. Sex and money didn't matter. A movie story, Juliana. I hope one day something like that happens to you. I don't want to depend on anyone. I want to choose my patients. Patients? Yes, they are patients. Juliana, you're going to be a whore not a doctor. <laughs> I am going to be a therapeutic escort, or in any case, an empowered whore. <laughs> What's that? It's the escorts page. What does it say? Hold on. Let's see. Hi, pretty. Pretty woman, Julia Roberts. There you are. Tell me what time I can go today, goddess. I feel like having a nice massage, you know what I mean? Happy ending. You're gorgeous, babe. What a nice apartment. I'm gonna do naughty little things to you. I'll be there as soon as I leave this shitty office. I'm just a worker, but at least I have the cash to be with you, babe. I've just got my salary. We're gonna have a wonderful time together. I'm waiting for your answer, the Chinese. An Oriental? A Chinese? A Japanese? I don't know, Mom. Maybe he's European. Hold on. Maybe. He's got money now, Juliana. Squeeze him. I know. Yeah, I'm writing to him. Tell him you'll be at Alberto's because you're getting your apartment painted right now. Um, uh, call in Alberto to tell him that you're going with a Chinese or a Japanese. We don't know yet. But don't tell Alberto that the man has fresh money. Don't even think about it. He may 
charge you more than he usually does. Come on, Alberta's already online. What time are you going? Late. But what time? You have to be a professional. I mean, it's too late. I already told the guy to come here. What? No, I said no. <laughs> Julie takes off the towel robe. She's wearing a sexy black bodysuit underneath the robe. What? This doesn't... <sighs> come on, give me a hand. This doesn't make sense. I'm retired. There are some little flowers and a lighter in my bedside table. First drawer. What flowers? We don't have any plants. The cats eat it. It's a joint, Mom. A joint. Bring it. It's already rolled. Oh, no. Go while I tidy up this mess. <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? This is wrong. This is therapeutic. And what's therapeutic is always right. You see it that way. Come on, heat those stones in the microwave. The guy wants a massage with warm stones. Stones? The ones we bought from San Clemente. They're in the plant pot. Those are seashells, not stones. Whatever. Bring them anyway. The guy will lie face down, so he won't know where, whether they are seashells or stones. Karina goes to the kitchen. By the way, bring me the canola oil, too. <laughs> <laughs> You can mix it with some massage oil. Exactly. Now you've got it, Mom. This is insane, Juliana. Julie enters the bathroom. Take it easy. Everything's under control. Can you trust me for once in your life? He also wants aromatherapy. Countryside pleasures. It's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it smells like a bathroom. But it's okay. <laughs> Look. There are some red candles in the bottom drawer, together with the kitchen cloths. Bring them. No, not those candles. Those are for San Expedito. Come on, tomorrow we'll buy some more. He's paying a lot, after all. How much? No, this is insane. What do I do when you're with him? Oh, no, I'm going to hear everything. I know, I'll go to the neighbors. No way. Stay here. Come on, put on an apron and help me. From now on, you're going to be my assistant, and this is going to be a sex spa. No, no this is completely, <laughs> you're completely mad. That's him. Go. What? No, Juliana, wait a minute. Come on, Mom. If this all works out, I'll take you to Los Angeles, I promise. Really? To the hotel? Of course, Mommy. Are you serious, Juliana? I swear to God. Go. <laughs> Experience an elevated senior living lifestyle at the Bluffs in beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona. Imagine an intimate and authentic retirement lifestyle enhanced by custom tailored five star quality service in an upscale community at the edge of a picturesque mountain. The Bluffs in Flagstaff, Arizona. Live from the theater basement, would like to thank all involved in the production of tonight's 10-minute play. Therapeutic is written by Leticia Arbello, directed by Sam Piper. Karina is played by Ann Warbaugh. Julie is played by Tiana Cox. Live from the theater basement is produced by Linda Sutera. Our engineers are Sam Bradbury and Matt Brewer. Associate producers are Virginia Brown, Joe Maniglia, and Michael Rulon. Our technician is Ava Haynes. Our correspondents are Mackenzie Chase, Jamie Hasapis, Lynn Timmons Edwards, and Sel Wasson. Our crew is Bailey Cunningham, Angela Keith, and Justin Moscow. Dramaturgy is by the Theatricos Artistic Committee. Play curation is by the Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase. And our executive producer is Chris Farrell. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcasts, is a production of Theatricos Theater Company in partnership with Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase and Deuteran Films. Theatricos Theater Company from Flagstaff, Arizona is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Grand Canyon, embracing the spirit of Broadway with shows like the heartwarming Christmas show, Yes, Virginia, There Is a Santa Claus. 
Live from the Theatre Basement, the weekly podcast streaming show from the Coast Theatre Company, alternates between 10-minute short plays and interviews with Arizona arts leaders. If you're a playwright of a 10-minute show, NAPS regularly accepts script submissions. You can email theater at theatricos.com, that's theater with an R-E at theatricos.com, for submission guidelines. If you would like to see wonderful 10-minute shows live in person, you can follow Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase, or NAPS, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you, as a listener viewer, have input, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at theater at theatricos.com. Again, that's theater with an R-E at theatricos.com. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m., is available wherever you get your podcasts and is funded in part by Creative Flagstaff and Arizona Community Foundation. Additional funding comes from Arizona Commission on the Arts, Flagstaff 365, BBB Revenue of the City of Flagstaff, Calf Country Radio, and patrons of the arts like you. Thanks for joining us on Live from the Theater Basement. This is Theatricos. Join us next week on Live from the Theater Basement. That is going to be next Sunday, January 9th at 7.30 p.m. and is available wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you for joining us on Live from the Theater Basement.